Hello guys, it's Willie from YouTube and today's episode we gotta talk about the MP Health Officer Dr. Bonnie Henry from BC where you know she talking about the CDC guideline she wants to address the elephant <laughs> in the room I'm sure somebody in the parliament I don't know who asked her what are the guidelines for safer sex in 2020 to prevent COVID spreading among strangers, loved ones, married couples? <laughs> Who said Canadian politics <laughs> is not exciting? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Only in Canada would we be so health conscious to ask such a question about health and sex. This was her answer. For 2020 COVID, safer sex. Because you know COVID is not an STD, so it's spread through respiratory. So she said that we should be installing glory holes in our doors. You know those little holes you might see on you know sites like Pornhub or those, you know, those type of those porn sites they put little holes in the in the solid doors or wooden doors and then you know you penetrate through there and the girls on the other side and with that that was one guy being on one side and the wood being a barrier that wooden door being a barrier to the other lady on the other side you will be able to have sex while keeping COVID at bay so as long as you keep the door closed then you won't be able to spread COVID because there is no respiratory spreading saliva any juices from the nose respiratory canals. So, they said that you should also be wearing masks while you're having sex. And they said you can have oral sex as long as it's not kissing with both lips or if you want to do oral sex, it has to be mouth to vagina or mouth to penis. I'm trying to, to do this report without laughing too hard. But anyways, guys, <laughs> make sure you wash your hands before and after <laughs> fellatio, of course. And if you want to, make sure you secure the doors with door stoppers because I know some of y'all like to throw down and get rough. So if you don't want to <laughs> destroy that door... Make sure you put some door stoppers on both sides. And, you know, this will work for standing up. If you wanted to do missionary, then you would put, then the person would lie on the bed. And then you'd put the door on top of the guy <laughs> or the woman. And then you would penetrate through the hole what with the person being on top of the door. I know you guys, some of you guys are trying to imagine this, but... You know, really, we need to stop the spread. And remember, COVID is not an STD. <laughs> it's through respiratory droplets. <laughs> anyway, so when you make the hole, you make sure you uh, put foam. You can put foam and then use, uh, you know, you can use uh, duct tape to wrap the hole, you know, to prevent chafing. Because you don't want to... <laughs> just make the hole and go ahead and do some penetration because there's gonna be a lot of sprinters if you do that you can just i can just imagine now all the the splinters even from a wooden door or a solid or non-solid door you still want to cover the hole after you've made it and then put some foam and then cover that foam with duct tape and then afterwards put a lubricant on top of the duct tape so then you wouldn't experience any chafing, you know, it minimized friction rub and uh, make sure that um, <clears throat> if, you, if you go to Home Depot, you buy a door without the hinges or without the frames. And I've included a video of how to make this keyhole for the door to be inclined with the CDC guidelines of safer sex. Now, she did say no kissing and uh, make sure you wear gloves and uh, no kiss and, and uh, you, you can wear a condom if, if it's a stranger, you know, 
Make sure you wear a condom, of course. She's stressing that also. If you can't get the wooden door, there's always the option of a fiberglass that you can buy from Home Depot. That works well too. Fiberglass is the same thing that they're using now at the, when you go to the bank tellers or the restaurants. They put up the fiberglass barrier and then you would make the keyhole with the same drill. You'll see in my video that you, you get yourself a, a drill. Plus you get the keyhole maker. You can get that from Home Depot. So you can get all of this for about 120 bucks and you can make your own keyhole all throughout the house wherever you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on guys, who said Canadian politics is not exciting? <laughs> we talk about everything. <laughs> anyway guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and watch my video, go to Home Depot, get your tools, get and if you need any help, <laughs> uh, you can send, uh, leave a comment below, and uh, as long as you're within the Ontario, you know, area, GTA, Toronto, Niagara Falls, Buffalo, and uh, even Cleveland. <laughs> I will provide you some assistance and I'll even bring my tools with me. <clears throat> but uh, ask your girl, what, what her mouth do? <laughs> anyway guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. This is Willie from YouTube. Bye bye. All right guys, it's Willie from YouTube and I'm gonna show you how to make a keyhole. All you're gonna need is a drill. Uh, I use the Walt because it's pretty good, 20 volts. You can use Milwaukee or or anything else like that. All you need is a regular drill. Plus, you would need some drill holes, depending on what you want to do. Now, this is the smallest size <laughs> if you just want to finger her, or you know it goes in different sizes. You got this size. It's about uh, two inches, and then you got different varying size. And then I got other sizes here. And if you really want to go all out, <laughs> you can get a fistful of fun from here and, and, and make your own keyhole this big. So you can make it any size you want to. Usually when you buy from Home Depot, they give you a, a standard size of two inches that will make a deadbolt hole. You just use that hole instead. You put that bit with your drill and lock it in and you're ready to go. All you gotta do is find yourself a regular door, you know. Hollow doors are best. Wooden doors are gonna give you problems. It'll be harder to drill through a, 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 a solid wooden door than it is a hollow door. So all you gotta do is just look for the center, like here, and then you can just map it out there. Depending how tall you are, you wanna go up to your waist height. So for me, that'll be way down here <laughs> but for some of you guys probably a way up here depending so yeah you just find it put the drill in and then you drill from one side to the other side this will work for uh wooden doors it won't work for for metal doors and you don't want to use metal doors anyways because they'll get real cold and the wooden door at least will stay uh warm or temperature high but anyways guys this is William from youtube bye bye